Today, Kevin and I are going to be comparing some salt and vinegar chips. We have the Lay's Stacks. I have the Pringles. Salt and vinegar. Pringles. Uh, ben sent us the Pringles from Washington. These were mailed all the way from Washington State. Yeah, uh, we had never tried them before. I know, yeah. and we have a, a playlist of Pringles, and it's like, I thought we had had every Pringles out there, uh, but we hadn't had salt and vinegar for some reason. So I wanted to compare them, and I said in the box opening that I said I would like to compare them to the Great Value, because that's what I was thinking, that's the only thing I could think of with the uh, that are like Pringles. Well, we went to our local Walmart, and of course, they had every flavor except for the salt and vinegar. And Kevin said, oh, well, why don't you get the Lay's Stacks? So, we got the Lay's Stacks to compare. They were $1.24 at Walmart, and we are going to be comparing uh, just a few of the um, nutritional facts on here for you, just because I think it's interesting. Um, the... Uh, uh, amount you get of the Slay stack. So there is a little bit of a difference there. It's 12 crisps, 28 grams is 140 calories. The amount of 15 for 150. So I've got 15 crisps, you've got 12. 12. So the total fat is eight. Uh, mine is nine, but I bet you once you take it out, it would be less. Exactly. What I was really cur uh, thought was very, very interesting was there's no big differences anywhere else except for the sodium. Listen to the difference in the sodium. Yeah, mine's 180 milligrams for 100, 15. 180 for 15. Mine for 12 is 290. 290 milligrams of sodium. So a lot more sodium in the lays. But you know what? Could be good. It is a salt and vinegar chip, and that, yes, that might make it all the difference in the world. Yeah. Why don't we try the Pringles, since we know that this is supposed to be so salty, since we bred that. So that has a cover. This has a cover. Of course, I messed it up. And that's how you do that. This is a paper cardboard tube, though. That's this is plastic, yeah. Which a lot of people would say, don't do the plastic. Definitely has a Woo vinegar smell. Not as strong as those. Those are her job balls. Same good uh, Pringles crisp. You can flavor. right. You can taste the Pringle underneath. The Pringle, yes. Just like when you buy a box of Cheerios. Yeah, no matter what flavor it is. Yeah, you can always taste that underlying Cheerio flavor. That's how these Pringles are. I like those. Those have a. It's it's not a super strong in your face punch you knock you out kind of vinegar. It's so, um. No, it's not. It, it's, it's not it strong. Is, it is a pleasant vinegar. Yes, but it, it's not a strong vinegar. Texture's a little different. Mm -hmm. I have to say though, mm, they're good. They're they're good, but um, I don't know that they're any better. The vinegar flavor, I think you get just a touch more vinegar flavor. But that could be from, you know, vinegar gives you a little sharpness. Mm -hmm. Salt, if it has a lot of salt, also gives you a sharpness. I'm thinking the extra salt probably gives you a little bit more of a, of a sharp flavor in the stacks compared to the Pringles. I'm going to be honest, I think out of the two, I'd rather have the Pringles. I'd rather Pringles. have the Pringles too. You would too? Yeah. Because... In this type of chip, for this, you know, this is different than a bag of, of Lay's potato chips. They're, they're, they're made different. The texture is meant to be different. So, it's just a whole different mouthfeel. So, for these textures in particular, I like the Pringles better, but I also like that underlying flavor of the Pringles. Mm -hmm. um, now, I still, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I, I feel this way 100%. I think the Brits know how to do salt and vinegar better yeah, than they do in America. They, do. they just do. The vinegar is like 
it, it is so, it's overpowering, but it's awesome. Like once, It's a good vinegar without being like burn your tongue vinegar. Once you've had, if go to World Market, go somewhere that sells uh, even home goods. We've seen British chips, salt and vinegar. If you see a bag, you need to try them because but you, you, have to like salt you will never understand what I'm talking about until you've actually had them. There's a very, very big difference and they know, they just know how to do yeah. it. And this um, is by no means the best salt and vinegar, even American chip that I've had. No, because I do like, uh, Lay's has a regular, just a, uh, they're in their regular chips. Uh, salt they vinegar. have salt and vinegar and I think those are stronger than mm -hmm. these yeah um but the pringles is the clear winner yeah. for these yeah I out think. of the two they're yeah. very good uh yeah we will definitely eat them and enjoy them so ben thank you very much for noticing that we hadn't even tried these you must really like these to have noticed that we hadn't had them because they're like we said there's so many pringles out there on the market that you go and you think oh I, i've had surely i've had all of these you know so it's hard to tell so we really appreciate you sending them to us. So this has been a fun video and thanks for watching.